On average, two to three kids in every UK classroom are dyslexic. Will and Cara were fortunate to be diagnosed young. Cara's meeting an older pupil here, whose dyslexia wasn't picked up until his situation got really bad. Oscar is 16. He's severely dyslexic and also has associated conditions. He came to Shapwick after he was diagnosed just 18 months ago. By then, he'd already been in and out of five regular schools. If I was at my old school and you decided to come and talk to me, I'd think I'd probably run away. I, don't talk, I didn't talk to people a lot. And um, I didn't have many friends. I used to be the one that sat at the edge of the playground watching everyone play along and, you know, chat and, you know, oh, they were laughing and playing. And, and then it's, oh, he's a dyslexic, you know, he's, he's the weird one because of a didn't say he's a dyslexic one. It's like, he's the weird one, let's move on. I um, remember the kids sort of saying, oh, yeah, go away, you know, and that sort of thing to the point where some of them did tell me, you know, why don't you go die? I was a mess myself because um, it was teachers would... Um, forced me into, school, into the class, literally one, uh, it was five teachers, one on each leg, one on each arm, and one teacher telling them where to go. And it was, you know, you must get into the class. It was almost like just escaping prison, it's, you felt. That's what it was, it was a prison. It was just, a, it felt like just a wall of words, numbers and people. Uh, and it was just trapped. To the extent I tried to uh, get out in a way that, I, I, well, I tried to commit suicide. That's how bad it was for me. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. The dinner lady stopped me. Oscar was only seven at the time, but he didn't harm himself. He found the way through was to get the help he needed. His life has now turned around. This is the first time I've fitted in. I mean, I've, at my old school, every other lesson, I was stood outside the door. For could, being naughty. For being naughty, or what they called naughty. And, uh, and even at my old school, it was get out, you know, get out, get out. And uh, here, I've not, been t I've not been shouted out, you know, for anything like that once. I've not been told to get out. I've not been told I'm stupid. The whole world's gone the right way up. <laughs> now I know that I can pass GCSEs. Now I, know that I, I, now I actually know what sort of thing I want to do as a job and I know what to, I want to do in life. And what do you want? Well, I want to be a teacher. I want, I want to try and help other kids who are like me. Oscar's story has made Cara realise how destructive it can be for young dyslexic people if their condition is undetected. So, so, you know, just Oscar going through what he went through is just really quite sad. And, um, you know, it's, you always think, oh, it's not that bad, but it was, it was really hard. You don't really understand why, because you, you, you try, you really try, and, and yet it just doesn't seem to go in. That's, you know, that's a real lesson to, to, to sort of pass on to people who just aren't aware of it.